Yes. <laughs> you know those commodities, as I was just saying. <laughs> you can decide to not enforce the laws. You'll just go to prison for a lot longer. Yes. <laughs> now, it is the end of the world, and um, that's something we need to recognize. Mm -hmm. Now, there's what's known as coinage. Oh, the United States Mint began operation in 1792. Yeah. And uh, we're just going to keep making that money. Pout. But, uh, well, I know it's upsetting. Your thought was you'll just keep spending money. Mm -hmm. Now, I dislike the idea of being mm -hmm, the citizen that you refuse to enforce the rights I want my sons today. I want to speak to Marilyn about where she wants to live. Yes. And then I want, yes, to change the world. <laughs> now, it's possible that we can prevent the end of the world. Yeah. See it in your minds. <laughs> It'll never end. Pooch! In my mind, it's ending. Mm -hmm. So you, you had all these tremendous plans about... Well, we're going to be on each other. We're going to sew into each other and we're going to we're going to have sex through each other. And we're just going to do this because this is the way we're going to do it. <laughs> My thought was it was really stupid on your part to use any technology uh -huh, to be on any citizen of this world. Mm -hmm. Now, for all the the politicians, which miss prison of felony, miss prison of treason. <laughs> For all the attorneys, <laughs> you know, I thought about emailing some more attorneys today, and I might do that. <laughs> but I found out about district attorneys, and I wanted to know who they are. Yes. Now, these district attorneys, they represent, um, well, the district, I mean, the cities or whomever they work for. Yeah. And uh, there's a big difference between believing that you can get a conviction of somebody and having the evidence to prove it. I was watching television this morning. Yes. And I thought, well, if you have the evidence of fraud, let's say that you have the fraudulent marriage applications of my own parents. Yeah. You have the fraud of false arrest where you have the evidence that I hadn't committed any crime. Yeah. You have the fraud of issuing uh, protection orders where there's forgery. Mm -hmm. You had the fraud of the dissolution of marriage where I didn't get any notice of court hearings. <laughs> It looks to me like I've done a pretty darn good job documenting all the necessary evidence, yes, to go to trial, yes, and get a conviction from a jury of my peers. <laughs> now, there was this thought that we don't prosecute. We just, we're not going to trial. <laughs> we are not going to allow any person to get sued or prosecuted for any knowledge of forgery, mm -hmm. fraud, yes, falsification of court documents, Oops. falsification of, of any any document right now. I thought we were. <laughs> In fact, I'll continue to think this way until we do it. Now, I'm going to want to sue the district attorneys in each and every city. Oh, why don't you get me the actual attorneys that get paid from every city of the United States? Yeah. Because I'll sue them. Mm -hmm. I'll sue them for their attorney oath. Mm -hmm. Attorney oath of admission. Yes. Bar Association membership, pooch. Then I'll sue them for having any knowledge of felony or fraud. <laughs> now, let's say you're an attorney. You're sitting there. You do know, don't you? Yes. And you thought we're going to cover this all up because you're not going to let me sue you. <laughs> I have this idea about attorneys. Yes. That any time they have knowledge of any crime that you have the evidence to prove, yes, they are liable for the knowledge that they have. <laughs> Now, you as a police department or sheriff's department decided, well, we're just not going to do it. And I decided we are going to do it. <laughs> we're going to do what I want. Yes, because you're going to be prosecuted. Pooch. Now, there's this question, right, of evidence. Mm -hmm. You can believe somebody's guilty of something, but can you prove it in a court of law? <clears throat> Let's say I can prove that I shouldn't have been arrested on January 4th of 2016 <laughs> because I was on the bus that morning. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was at the library that afternoon. Yes. I can prove that every time you made me go to court, it violated certain laws. Oh, and then when you dismiss the case for mental illness or mental disease, <laughs> I can prove the sheriff's department. 
So all we're missing is the trial where you get uh, charged with the crime. Yes, uh, could be hate crimes. Mm -hmm. Could be kidnapping. Ooch. Could be treason. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. It could be child abuse, child abduction, child exploitation. Oh. Could be forgery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could be conspiracy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then it could be misprison of felony and misprison of, 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 of. See, can I prove in a court of law, yes, the crimes that have happened against myself as a victim? Yes, yes. I think I can. <clears throat> Now, I've often mentioned that I wanted to get an attorney. Yes. And I wanted somebody to represent me in these lawsuits. Yes, he does. And I thought of my own personal lawsuits. Yes. Then I thought of the tort lawsuits. <laughs> and then I thought of the class action lawsuits and how every city of the United States, why don't you give me the last 50 years of employees of each and every city? Oh county, ah, state, and the federal government that happen to be attorneys at the time of their employment that have any knowledge of the misprision of felony, because I thought I would, I would, well, well, you, you don't think I can pull it right now, right now, right now.